Okay, so let's see what I... I want him to spin a out of the stage. Yes! You didn't spin a Rooney, but you flipped your ass off the stage, then that's fine. I'll point at you, sir. Oh, God. I do have to- I do appreciate all you guys watching me uh, flailing around like a crazy person in this game. Okay. Wolf, stand up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Explosion! It doesn't take as much damage as I think it should, that move. The, oh, he's not dead yet? Oh my god, he's really got a hair left. No, you're not gonna win by a hair. Yeah, jerk. I'll stab your knees if I have to. I'll stab your knees to death if I have to. I'll stab your knees while blindfolded to, to you die if I have to. I'll stab, me, stab your knees blindfolded while eating a box of Cheerios with my one hand. And stab you in the knees if I have to. I would s stab you in the knees blindfolded while eating a box of cheers with one hand and talking to my homies with the other hand and magically stabbing you in the knee with my leg. And you fell off the stage! <gasps> you spin a Rudy off that stage. You made me witness all peer skills on my part. That was terrible. Oh, the cute girl stretching and she's showing her heaving breasts. But report the bizarre series of murders stemming from the robbery of the Dashiban replicant has been solved. Thanks to the actions of Duke! Wolf, the mastermind instance, turned out to be another name of that the Wilt Wattweiler, a former member of this borough. As these incidents were deliberate and premeditated, yet this borough, myself included, could not see the brutality of the man's character and his daily activities. I think we all need some time to reflect. And then we have the enigmatic man who appeared in a connection with the murders. Ripper. It is to know why Ripper pursued the Tashinai replicant, but it is obvious that he has some motive of his involvement. We must investigate this in more detail. Uh, I just want to say that I don't like him or his actions. I want to something done about it. We have been compelled to freeze the Tashinai project because of these incidents. However, I will still continue independent research into the possibilities of world peace that are offered by the Tashinai replicants. I believe that the existence of true Tashinai safe and stable replicants is necessary. It is therefore my intention to create this Tashinai no matter... That went by too fucking fast and I can't... I'm about to pass out. Kumate. 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 Oh, that is crazy. They only thought it was one hour. Time does fly. Oh. Okay, guys. I think I'm gonna do maybe a one or two more bouts against a computer. Try some different characters. I see that people were throwing out favorites uh, there earlier. Um, if there's any character you want me to try to play as. Uh, for a piece, a, a CPU bout, let me know. I guess I can't really skip these credits. Can I skip these credits? I don't know. <laughs> see, um, see at DJ Red Buttons, there's people that actually work on the sound. There's a person named Luna Yumegeti. Special thanks to Mashahiro Marukawa. Tasuya Hocho, Sunichi Oskusa, Takishi Inkone, Akahiko Kimura, Nayuki Takada, Mr. Nori Soji, Hirofumi Kasakawa, Himahiko Kazawa, Sotashi Kumata, Tasawa Taharo, Tasua Gita, Musumai. Hold a win! Hold a win! Hold a win is not a person! What the fuck? Okay, I see one for Sophia, Boo, and the Dildo Girl. I will play each of those three in order. It's not let me skip these credits. These guys are really proud of their work, apparently. And they're really proud of that rocking guitar riff. Lol. Hey, it's that sweet little girl again. Hee 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 hee, I'm just gonna stab you. Just gonna stab you. Game arrangement and new character motion design. New character motion data. Oh, they got they go they're getting to nice subcategories here. What I think about this game? 
fun game. Even though I probably look like a complete fool playing it, still a fun game. Yeah, it's not, I guess I could reset the system. <laughs> but I feel like I'm close to the end of the credits. I... maybe not. <laughs> I'll do that. You know, I might have skipped out a chance of getting somebody. Who knows? Hopefully you guys still could see something good. Let's do this. Uh, the first one I saw was Sophia. The girl with the whip. And let her fight against the Ripper. Let's see how this goes. Because she got that whip. Ooh, we're playing on the disco The disco stage, kind of. Or the industrial stage, I should say. Yo, what's up, Holmes? You still here, DJ Red Buttons? I know. You heard that ditty I'm playing? See how scary that is? Because this is intense. When two people fight each other, especially when one of them has big breasts and a whip, things get super intense. Because the guy's like, should I punch this girl? Or she bites me? Or should I caress her? I don't think that's what the song is implying. Dude, I made the song in my sleep last night. That, of course, is what I'm applying. This is some to that mad beats. Wicked, wicked, whip. And now there's scratching this. I cannot believe this. I know I do Thunder Ring. Thundercats. And her boobs are down. Yamada. Yamada. Things are intense in this cast. Oh, I'm slapping his ass! And a high kick for Flair. Get your stuff out of here, nigga! Oh, slap your face! That's that's not Sophia, but I should be like, I got it. Oh, that's a slidey kick. Remember those old Dead or Alive commercials for the Xbox? This is a long, long time ago, but the whole thing of that commercial was like, she kicks high, and they just show high kicks of like Kasumi or whatever. And that was like the selling point of the game is the fact that those girls kick high in that fighting game. Well, you know what? Sophia kicks high too, and she has a mad whip. And this is sad. This is Saturn times and PlayStation times. 1990s. Wow. Well, I failed against the Ripper. I see Fu though. I'm gonna try out this Fu person. Oh, oh. This is not gonna. You're not gonna touch me with those slides. I guess when you continue in versus computer, it doesn't let you select your characters. Kind of weird. I like how that's like a stunted backhand. She's like, here's my elbow, and then there's my backhand. Oh, I thought I got a win with her though. Yeah, that's always good. Whoa, that's not suggestive at all. That's a laugh. If you guys ever want to see me play like Super Mario RPG or something one of these times, let me know. Pretty much throwing games out there. Like, yeah, you're going to Oh no, he's hitting a good girl and she's down. Whoa! Spin a rooney your face! Damn, girl, I didn't know you got that move. Shit. What would you do if you saw a girl with a whip just start ballerina spinning your face off? That'd be fucking traumatic. I'm actually doing much better this, this time than last time, I'm not gonna lie. I like how she runs too. She's like, it's like she runs with her chest out too, like on purpose. Like, here's my chest, it's coming towards you, boy! Okay, so do I pick a different character? Okay, so you have to win to pick a different character. Well, the next one I saw was Foo, so let's do Orpho or guy with blades, and let him fight, uh, I'll let him fight the big American guy. I assume he's a big American guy because any guy that carries a club and has an American flag on is an American guy. This looks like a very Arizona stage. I think this might actually be me. 
I'm actually fighting myself right now, everybody. Because, you know, I'm a big guy with a club. No, you're not. You're totally a girly man. They could totally see that they go to the website and see those videos of you. Shut up, Arnold. I got a body of iron and eyes of fire. Oh my god. I think foe is an acronym for fuck off. And I have to swear, I don't know why. <laughs> I would also be like, yo, girl, get them digits. So she's running at you with her brush out, with a whip. I'd be like, does she want to go out on a date, or is she going to spin my face off? Oh my god, he's doing a little spin too! I'm gonna claw your eyes out. I'm gonna claw it. Oh, hold on. Oh, that was awesome! I charged it, I wind up that punch, and I stab the face. I mean, if this was like realistic, those blades would have went through Rongo's head, or slit his throat off, and it would have been game over. It would have been game over. The old man would have won. I wonder how they make these stages. Like, can you imagine a world that there's actually a platform like this, that's perfect, perfectly square, and it's like, this is gonna be the battle arena stage. People are gonna fight here. We're not gonna have them fight in, you know, a boxing ring. We're just gonna have them fight on this high up, perfectly flat square with mountains around. You need to make the fight scenic, okay? Make them scenic! Okay, what about a white castle? The white castle is Sir Slider's, well, but a, a literal castle. And it has to be snowing. But we also have to make it a square, too. Oh my god, his breasts are heaving at me, too! Oh my god, those are almost as big as boobs as me! Well, it's a digital character. Yeah. Cool, I'm not digitized in the new Terminator movie. Pure Arnold. You keep telling yourself that, Arnold. You keep telling yourself that. You dream a dream. God. Oh, you just a Rongo. Or Rongo. Oh. oh, there you go. How do I dance my ball again? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, and I, 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 uh, hmm. I do like the noise he makes. Like, those are some heathen ass breasts. Those are bigger tatas than Sophia had. Now, let me get the bitch at Tronco. <laughs> That's not funny. Rongo's my brother. Rongo Schwarzenegger. What is that? Maybe don't hurt me. Oh my god, it's the last round, am I gonna actually lose by a sweep? I mean, you know, I have 2 0 on this? Come on. There we go. Rongo, you're Bongo, and Bonno. That's not supposed to make sense. I'll do a little dance. I wipe my little nice stash. Okay, so next fighter I saw was Diddle Doe Girl. And Diddle Doe Girl is Tracy. Look at that big badge on her chest, too. All she's wearing is a tube top with a big badge that literally covers up the length of one of her chest pieces. We'll have her fight against... The nerd girl I think is kind of cute. Oh, by no means stretch of form is any of these tits that we see today are as big as Titzella. Titzella is a seven story tall tit monster that introduced herself during Marathon when we were trying to play Wheel of Fortune. Um... Fortunately, Eddie Murphy, yeah. you you subdue her. I did. I jump on that Titzilla and I go. Arr! Yeah, he he took care of Titzilla, um, and then she has an evil twin, Silicazilla, or fake Titzilla that we also call her. And fortunately, the Coast Guard has been pretty good about keeping her at bay because she she is known to blow speakers when she comes on. She is so loud and massive. You think it's a satisfying thing when you see a seven story tit? No. Not this tit cell. It makes you sad. It makes baby Jesus cry. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to fight this girl with her hammers. My diddle does are stronger than your hammer. Go stronger. You're gonna come back. I don't know any moves, but I know how to kick her ass. You know what's really crazy? We didn't have Raymond Mono for most of this. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I kind of blame that on Arnold over here. Splurging is splurge. Uh, it happens. Sometimes. 
Then comes a white Christmas over at the Arnold Schwarzenegger pad when he sees a bunch of women with tits. Gross, it's not even Christmas time. 